guys, today I'm going to show you how to make my mom's famous mashed potatoes. Okay, hey y'all, I think I forgot to say welcome to the Blessed Kitchen, so welcome. Um, what we are doing, what we've done so far is peel the potatoes, we've cut out any of the imperfections, and we are putting them in a pot of water close to, you know, the top of where our potatoes are. Um, and we're waiting for them to boil. And then we check, and when they're fork tender, that's when it's time to take them out. Okay, everyone, now that we've reached a boil, we're going to let them sit in there uh, for 20 minutes uh, because we cut ours up. If you did them for, if you put them in whole, um, you put them, you'd leave them in there for 30, but we always cut ours up. And, yep, they just are going to boil for 20 minutes now. And that's how easy this is, even though we ain't done yet. So, I'll see you for the next step. Okay, y'all, we have the potatoes for tender. We are putting in butter, um, because that is what makes your potatoes good, in my opinion. And we drained <laughs> off the girl. liquid, clearly, but... I thought I should mention it because it's very easy to to Tim make Bruce, mistakes like that. Tell them you're a big butter person. And I love butter, so <laughs> we put about half a stick in there, probably a little more than half a stick because butter is gonna make it good. The other factor in this. Okay, so I was talking about what you add to the mashed potatoes until my phone so rudely decided to have a te technical difficulty, but I've just been whipping it with my older machine. Um, we add in black pepper and salt to taste, really. We put in whole milk. That's to taste. It helps make it creamier, expensive. Well, I was videoing, videoing and so rudely interrupted by my phone saying I don't have enough storage. So I decided I'm going to film with my computer, which I've done in the past. But basically, all I was trying to say before I got interrupted was that um, I like butter. There's my butter. We used about half a stick. We used salt and pepper to taste. We're adding in a little bit of salt as we speak. Um, and then we added in black pepper earlier, and we added in some whole milk, just to give it that creaminess that we all know we want in mashed potatoes, and they are looking beautiful, and I wanted to show y'all my cute pig spatula that I've had for a while, because I begged my mom to get me it when I was very little, but it's still here, and it's still cute. Um... And just for, just for kicks, since it cut out on the video, there you can watch my, my older little machine do its thing. Ain't that beautiful? And here it is when you go to whipping potatoes. And you might, I'm just going to lower it. Just because it is a little harder with the computer, but when it's going around, try and just edge those potatoes in to make sure that they're getting stirred up the way you want them to. And I'm sorry for that technical difficulty. Maybe in the future, when I have a little more uh, time and a little more money or something, I'll try and redo this. We'll see. But I feel like overall, it's pretty easy to understand. If you got a question, throw it in the comments. I'd love to help you guys. And thanks for watching. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's super easy, super inexpensive. If you don't have whole milk, use the milk that you got and just see how it works. Um, and if you don't have one of these types of things, just get one of the mechanical ones. I don't know. What would you call that? A hand Get a hand mixer one, a hand or mixer. just a, a smaller electrical computer. Yeah, but I would definitely say get yourself one of these. 
because they're just so cute. There's many pig products like that. But I'm going to let you go because my rambling can get a little boring sometimes. So, love y'all. God bless you. And yay, we have a potatoes.